Hyrcanus took also Dora and Marissa, cities of Idumea, and, sued all, and subdued all the Idumeans and permitted them to stay in that country. Okay? He took those cities, went down to, into Idumea, subdued them, and then allowed them to stay in the country. Go ahead. And subdued all the Idumeans and permitted them to stay in that country if they would circumcise their gentles and make use of the laws of the Jews. Go ahead. And they were so desirous of living in the country of their forefathers that they submitted to the use of circumcision and the rest of the Jewish ways of living, at which time, therefore, this befell them, that they were hereafter no other than Jews. Okay. Were they still Edomites, or was the Mount of Esau in existence at that time? Who possessed the land? The Israelites. Now, what became of the Idumeans? They became Jews. And they were, from that point on, they were known as Jews. They weren't known as Edomites or Idumeans, but they were known as Jews. That's right. Now, so if you want to find out who the Edomites are, or the bloodline of Esau, you would have to look for Jews. That's, that's plain right there. It didn't say that. But they, they mentioned the Edomites as a whole. They didn't, there's nothing mentioned about any dispersed Edomites throughout the world. You've already admitted you have no proof, no historical or biblical proof of Edomites migrating. So what we have to go by is what we have, not fables and myths and things made up, not uh, the moon landing, the space program, and eagles on flags and things like that. We have to go by facts. And this is what we have. We have the, we, these are the facts that we have. So these people are known as Jews. Answer this question. Why are the Edomites mentioned in the so-called New Testament? You know why? Because they were Jews. Many of you don't even understand this. Many of you don't know who the Messiah was rebuking. Many of them went, they not only they rose up in power. We have the history on that. King Herod was an Edomite. Many of them rose up in power uh, in the priesthood. They became Pharisees, Sadducees. So, when you take all this and combine it, when you, when you go through Obadiah, filter it through the history, filter it through the other scriptures, you can see that it's been fulfilled. Now, you can keep on believing those lies if you want. But that's, that's you. That's the, you can remain ignorant when it comes to this. Speaking and, of lies, I have a scripture that that made me think of in 2 Corinthians chapter 10. Yeah, bring that up. Bring that up. Verse 3. For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through Yahweh to the pulling down of strongholds, casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalteth itself against the knowledge of Yahweh and bringeth into captivity every thought to the obedience of Messiah. And that's, and that's what you have out there. You have imaginations. And we're casting down those imaginations. Some people say that we're causing confusion. No, the confusion has been caused years ago. As a matter of fact, where's that book? You guys take your, get, take your doctrine right out of this book right here. It, has, it says everything in it. All the Edomite, white man stuff. Everything. Right out of this book. That's right. And it's all based on imaginations. This this. The man, the author of this book, showed no proof where he got his understanding from. We're showing proof. We got ours from the scriptures. Now, let's give him a definition on that word imagination just to help this sink in a little more. Imagination from the Strong's Concordance means computation. That is, reasoning, imagination, thought. From Thayer's, it means a reckoning, computation, a reasoning such as is hostile to the, they have here, Christian faith, <laughs> a judgment decision such as conscience passes. Okay, now go back to uh, first, second Corinthians chapter 10 and read the verse that, uh, where you got the definition from. Verse 5, casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of Yahweh and bringeth into captivity 
every thought to the obedience of Messiah. So we're casting down those ma imaginations, or those computations and reasonings. Because there's no there's no proof behind it. There's no truth behind it. You how do you get the space station or, or the moon landing from these scriptures? You had no precepts or anything to back that stuff up. We showed you precepts and the meaning of the word stars. We showed you the meaning of the word eagle and why the Edomites who dwell in the rocks, in the rock city of Petra, were compared to the eagle. Why they exalted themselves like the eagle. We showed you clearly through history, and it was almost word for word how these things were fulfilled in uh, the book of Obadiah, verse, from verses 18 all the way through 20. Okay? I think we have one more verse to cover, and uh, that's verse 21. Obadiah, verse 21. Verse 21. And Savior shall come up on Mount Zion to judge the Mount of Esau, and the kingdom shall be Yahweh's. And though, who were those saviors? That was the Maccabees and John High Cranish. They were the righteous men who came up, came and took care of business. And how did they judge the Mount of Esau? They said, you, you, you either get circumcised or you get out the land. And they not, not only did they, they judge them in that way, but they also judged them by taking possession of the Mount of Esau. It, it went into our hand. We possess that land. That's why there, there, you don't hear about a land called Edom today. That was the end of it. We took possession of that. They were judged. Their, their inheritance was no more. We swallowed them up as a people. They became Jews. Now the, the descendants of Esau are still around. But like I said, if you want to look for them, uh, you have to look for Jews. Look for people who call themselves Jews. We have more we're going to bring out, out on that in a different part. We're going to continue on with this. We're going to trace them all the way up to today. But basically, trace them all the way to show you how Esau, or the, the Edomite descendants, the Jewish Edomites, went up and to the, the Caucasus Mountains, or to the regions but, uh, near the uh, Black and Caspian Sea, and then converted the Khazars. That stuff is documented. But we're going to prove that. But for now, that's it on that. And uh, for those of you who, uh, who buck up against this, I invite you to attempt to prove us wrong, as usual. And those of you who don't, I hope you've been edified. But with that, I'll say shalom, and may Yahweh bless your understanding. Shalom.